Mira. Yes. What's the weather? In Towson, it's 71 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for lots of clouds, with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. Mira. Yes. Tell me a joke. What did the computer mouse say to the keyboard? You're just my type. Really? <gasps> Mirror. Yes. When is Labor Day? Labor Day will be on September 3rd, 2018. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dami Lola and if this is your first time, I talk on anything technology related and it will be great if you can subscribe uh, click the subscribe button okay so what I'm showing you guys today is called a smart mirror a smart mirror is pretty much a mirror that I can look at myself in and I can also see some series of information and one cool thing about my mirror is that I integrated a voice assistant so I can also talk to my mirror so my mirror I can see the dates I can see today's dates I can see the time I can see the current weather I can see the US holidays I can also see the five-day weather forecast for any location that I set it to uh, I can also see um, a compliment or a greeting depending on the time of the day uh, and then I can also see my voice assistant status so I can also I can see if my voice assistant is working I can see if it's listening to me when I say the wake word and I can also see when it's giving me a response and then I can see the news headline. I'm making use of the New York Times for this. So this gives me the news headline and it changes, I believe, every five um, to 10 seconds. And lastly, I have a phone notification. So if I receive a new email or a message, this is supposed to display on my mirror. So this is really cool. I used this for a class project and I was really excited to work on this project. So, so in the morning, I'm dressing up and I don't always have to have my phone. I can always uh, look at things that I need to know on the mirror and I can also talk to the mirror. So I'm going to show you guys how this mirror works. This mirror is running on what is called a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi, let's see what it is. So a Raspberry Pi is a small computer that you can use to create fun uh, DIY projects such as this one. You can also use it to learn programming languages, uh, you can use it to play games, whatever. It's, it's just a mini computer, so everything that you can do on your regular computer, you can do on this. But just because of the size, it's definitely not as fast as your um, your other computers. It also comes with some ports, so um, I'm able to connect a USB keyboard uh, and the USB mouse and that's how I was able to you know do the settings on the Raspberry Pi and like configure my smart mirror. I'm also using uh, a USB mic so if you're going to be having uh, a voice assistant you're going to need a USB mic and then it has an audio jack which is what I'm using for the speaker. This is the speaker. So the speaker I got on Amazon for about ten dollars I, I believe. The USB speaker, uh, the USB mic is also I don't know if you can see it. You can see it very well, but really tiny. It's also really cheap. I think about $4. It also has an HDMI port. The HDMI port is how you're able to connect it to a display. So the display that I'm using, I'll show you right now, is uh, a Mac, uh, I think a 2005. Ooh. Okay, so my screen is quite heavy. The, the monitor is quite heavy. So this is a 2005 um, Mac Cinema HD display. I was lucky to get this at work because uh, they weren't using it anymore. So that's what I made use of. And then there's a mirror. This mirror is called a two-way observation mirror. Uh, a two-way mirror, sorry. It, it can also be called a one-way mirror. They also call it uh, an observation mirror. So this is the mirror they use for investigation. It's pretty much a mirror you can see on both sides. You can use your regular mirror also and then buy maybe like a mirror film I believe and use it to cover the other side. For the monitor, you can use any monitor. So if you have an old computer that you're no longer using and the monitor still works, you can use it for your smart mirror. Uh, I've seen online someone made use of a laptop um, screen. So you can use that. You can use uh, any type of screen that you want for this. 
uh, this is pretty much just a, a frame so I got somebody to help me build the frame somebody at work also was nice enough to help me build the frame and then hook the monitor to the frame uh, but there are guidelines online on how you can do the frame yourself so if you are interested in some woodwork uh, you can build the frame yourself and you can do all of the hooking up yourself uh, this is a closer look at our mirror so you can see the date you can see today's date you can see the time or you can see the holidays again all of these are things that you can configure so if you're in another location you can configure it to show the holidays in your country you can also configure the weather so you can change whatever location you want uh, you want to change it to and then you can see the five days weather forecast for the location that you set it to this is the complement so depending on the time of the day this changes also so I think for the morning I have maybe three or four displays uh, and then again you can configure this you can also see my voice assistant status so I can see if it's working I can see if it's listening to me and I can see if it's responding so all of that changes based on what I say once I say the wake word the wake word is mirror uh, and then it, it, it gives me a response and it says yes and it, I, I'm, I speak to it and then it gives me a reply you can also see the headline so the headline also changes the news headline changes I think every five seconds again all of those things are configurable so you can configure it to what you want these are called modules so these modules already come with the magic mirror software uh, so if you go on github the and install the the magic mirror software and it comes with some of these modules uh, some of the other modules I added them to it so I added like the the voice assistant that was another uh, software installation and also the phone notification was also another module that I added to the smart mirror but all of this is actually really easy to do even if you don't know how to program uh, if you don't know how to code this is something that you can do uh, by yourself so this was another module that um, I was able to add uh, to my mirror so I can control the mirror from my phone isn't that cool you can also do this on uh, your laptop or on any device that you want to do it on so I can shut down the mirror from here I can edit the view so for example if I want to um, if I don't want the clock to show I can turn it off here or I can hide it if I don't want the compliments to display I can hide it um, here uh, and then whatever it is that I do I just do save and it's saved I can also view my mirror so if I want to see if my mirror is actually working and I'm not um, currently beside the mirror I just click on magic mirror and I'll be able to see so this is the same thing that I can see on my mirror right now so this is it and this is my mirror right now all right, thank you guys for watching. Bye.